Mr. Chairman, uh, today is a sad day in history, in the history of this particular uh, committee that we have stooped to the point of trying to intimidate and bully a private citizen, a journalist, no doubt, uh, who uh, has collaborated with uh, President Biden at some of his most sensitive moments about very sensitive issues, the death of his son. And this committee is using its power to try to get at some audio tapes between this journalist and President Biden, wherein President Biden is discussing these kinds of sensitive matters. And the only reason why the other side is doing it is because they're now trying to scrape up uh, as much information as they can to make uh, Donald Trump happy because he needs fodder for campaign ads. And uh, so that's why this audio is important to uh, my friends on the other side of the aisle, just to appease President Trump. And, um, you know, fact of the matter is this, this is the outgrowth of uh, of $20 million in taxpayer money having been spent by this committee and this Congress investigating President Trump, excuse me, President Biden and, and Hunter Biden, uh, trying to find evidence of a criminal uh, gang uh, as they have billed it. Uh, they have come up with no evidence after spending uh, that much money and uh, all of the staff time, they've not been able to come up with any evidence of corruption by uh, President Biden or his family, which they call a crime family. This committee has been front and center in that investigation. It has been fruitless. In addition to this committee, you've had folks like uh, Robert Herr, a special counsel, excuse me, a holdover from the Trump administration, yes, yeah, special counsel, um, who looked into classified documents that were found and turned over by uh, President Biden that were in his uh, official, that were in his possession after he had left office. And, uh, Robert Hurd looked into it to determine whether or not there was any criminal um, liability. And he found none, but he chose on his way out issuing a final report to include in that report uh, inappropriate um, characterizations of uh, the president's mental uh, competency. President Biden's mental competency for the express purpose that was a giant breadcrumb uh, offered to this committee to uh, enable them to follow up on that as they are doing right now. So in addition to those uh, fruitless rabbit hole investigations, now we have morphed into, okay, we, we need to get the audio files of the ghostwriter for President Biden. Isn't that a ridiculous use of uh, this committee's time uh, that we're sitting here uh, and a uh, private citizen is being bullied and intimidated and threatened, uh, a journalist, uh, by this committee? It's really a sad day. The American people see that this is doing nothing to make life better for them. Uh, this is just an outgrowth of a rabbit hole investigation. It'll go nowhere. We're wasting our time. The American people expect us to do the business that makes their lives better. That's what we need to be about, putting people over politics. And so I will uh, yield back the balance of my time. This is a sad day. <laughs>